welcoming uh, Facebook friends and uh, YouTube friends. I'm glad that you're here with us tonight. Um, I'm on a few minutes early tonight because um, I'm kind of giving, giving an attempt at something new and different, at least for me. Uh, most of you think that I'm pretty technologically astute, but uh, look, I got some issues, let me say that, and I'm still working out some stuff, so I thought I'd come on early and try to do what I want to do. But let me, let me introduce it this way. Tonight on Transparency Thursdays, we're going to be talking about um, creative and fun ideas for celebrating um, Thanksgiving in this era of COVID-19. It's not a serious talk. What it is, though, is it's a way for us to encourage each other as Christian and non-Christians, um, uh, encourage each other with creative ideas um, with regard to how to celebrate Thanksgiving under the current mandates that our cities and our states um, have kind of imposed. I don't want to get into a big discussion about this, but it is true um, that there are some people who make who are making a big issue um, out of separation in church and state of church and state and all this kind of stuff, which indeed in the normal situation it would be a big thing. However, we have not been mandated as churches to do anything. Um, we have been asked, and I think that's as far as our governments, our governmental bodies will go. But even though they ask, it's a strong ask for the for the good of the public health and the public safety. And so I'm asking the members of the Prince of Peace Church to follow the directives of our city leaders, of our state leaders, um, even though we don't have any national leadership at this point that's um, giving us direct or, or serious guidance. But let's, let's do what we can to help each other. Tonight is going to be about talking to each other about fun and creative ways um, for celebrating Thanksgiving. And we may do this again on Christmas. Let me give you a phone number that you can call because you can call in here tonight. And let me get my phone out of the way here. Um, you can call in tonight. That phone number is 267 443 if you'd like to call in. That number is 267-443-0092. Can't take but too many calls at one time, but I ask that you would be patient and, you know, Lord willing, we'll get, you know, we'll get to you. Um, if you're calling, it's busy. Don't don't sweat it. Uh, we'll, we will be able to, uh, to manage to get to you. Um, second thing that you can do is if you're watching on Facebook, um, I do have Siobhan and I believe Priscilla are both watching tonight. And if you have comments about your ideas, your brainstorms to celebrate Thanksgiving um, uh, in the upcoming week, you can chat that, put that in on the chat room. We'll try to make a list of it, and we'll try to make sure um, that everybody is helping everybody else. Not everything's going to be appropriate to everybody else. We know that we all separate, uh, celebrate, I'm sorry, <laughs> celebrate differently. Um, but there may be some ideas out there that helps us and our children get through these moments of doldrum and frustration and anxiety. Our children are now having to see um, mental health experts um, um, for things that they would have never had to see them for before, just inactivity. We've ne I mean, we've basically wanted to be able to tell our kids, come in the house, sit down, um, uh, just go chill out somewhere. Now we got to tell them, don't go chill out, find something to do. Uh, get active, and that's for their own mental health sake. Now, I do want to encourage parents. I know that you are overwrought, just like your children are. Um, but think about this: we don't we don't want to contribute to the raising of a generation that's completely stressed out and have no uh, intellectual and mental capacity to be successful because they are all wigged out, or they have been from the time that they were. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 because um, they were in a lockdown and a shutdown that was not healthy for them. And so I want to encourage you, if you don't, I know you don't mind, they're the ones that you love, push, you know, push yourself just a little bit farther. If it means just reading a poem to them um, every once in a while or reading a short story or reading a part of history or uh, playing Uno or um, there's one game I like it a lot myself, actually. Uh, um, you put uh, uh, either whipped cream or shave cream on a little thing, and, and, and people keep uh, taking turns at this thing, and finally it's going to release and boom, right in the face, and it's a lot of fun to play with the kids. So let's do some things, and it doesn't take long to play those kinds of games. You don't have to be tied up after work for hours and hours and hours. Maybe come home, 
get 45 minutes to an hour break or rest, you need some break time because your, your work is at home and you need to separate between those two. So if you can do that and give, some, give a brief time from anywhere from uh, 20 minutes to 40 minutes, give that to your kids so that they can um, have some enjoyment and fun and, and fellowship-type interaction with their parents rather than the typical go do this, go do that, have you done with your, gotten done with your homework? Did you complete all your assignments at school? Um, let's try to work to create an environment. Now, you're, you're probably a lot farther ahead uh, than what I'm giving you credit, but if, if not, um, let's try to make uh, life a little bit easier for all of those that God has given us to love and that he has given to love us. God bless you. Let me give you the phone number again. That's 267-443-0092. And tonight's topic is creating, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, creative and fun ideas for celebrating COVID-19 during this Thanksgiving. We are all being called on right now to reduce the numbers of our family celebrations. That's what they're asking us to do. They're asking us right now for Thanksgiving, and they believe it's going to extend into Christmas and maybe beyond the new year. And so what we're asking you tonight, my brothers and sisters, is what are some of the, what are some of the creative ideas uh, that you might have for the people that you are celebrating with this year, even if you can't be under the same roof? Um, you can still celebrate in some way. So that's what we'll be asking um, you, to, you, you to consider. I love these holidays. I'm going to start talking while you start um, typing or chatting if you can because we're ready to receive your ideas even now. Um, there are a lot of people like me who don't like holidays. And I, I imagine there are a lot of uh, reasons why people don't like holidays. Sometimes we lose loved ones around those holidays or close to them. Um, other times, um, they may remind us of, remind us of some um, um, strange event that has happened in our lives that has at least that had at least momentarily taken the joy away from us. And so, some people don't enjoy holidays. There are other people who don't like holidays because, um, well, somebody's told them that you know it's wrong for them to celebrate um, holidays. Um, I think that we ought to celebrate every day. But I think that there are some markers in life that you should celebrate. Thanksgiving is one of those things. Now, um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna not gonna say to you that I am locked into the original purpose for which Thanksgiving was established. <coughs> Excuse me, not totally, because <clears throat> there were some real bad things that were happening as Europe encountered the um, continent of America. Uh, what became known as America, and uh, there were some bad things that happened, and some of it was celebrated around this holiday. But I'm using um, the idea of our taking a pause as a nation, at least once as a nation, to join in and saying to God Almighty, thank you for the goodness and the bounty that you've given to us. Thank you for the life that we share and the freedom that we experience. Thank you. Um, for a place that at least um, up until now, um, we have been able to say what we want, where we want, go where we want, um, do what we want to do. Thank you for that kind of freedom. And um, thank you, for, as far as my people are concerned, thank you, God, for um, uh, uh, delivering us from the bondage that, um, uh, that we were brought into when we were brought from our motherlands. And thank you for bringing us through the whole slave period. We are, we are thankful that you were the one that delivered us from that. And we're thankful that you got us through uh, the bad days from the Reconstruction all the way up to the Jim Crow era and into the 60s. We are grateful for our leaders. So I think that we have nationally a lot to be thankful for. But personally, personally, we have a lot to be thankful for. And while you may not feel like celebrating a holiday, I think that every day for us can be a holiday. And it can begin on this one if, it can begin on this one um, if you start thinking about how God has blessed you. Not just materially, that's important, but spiritually, which includes your intellect, spiritually, which includes your emotion spiritually, 
which includes your ability to communicate and articulate. We ought to be thankful for that to God. And so um, um, let me start with this. Um, unless somebody has something already. Siobhan, do you have anything for us uh, just yet? Or is it still pretty quiet? Um, um, so I'm going to ask you this. Um, what kinds of conversations for adults, for kids, and for teens would be effective in helping them celebrate um, the moments of Thanksgiving. Um, I'm asking that just so that we can brainstorm and see what we come up with because uh, there's no sense in sitting around um, eating a big meal and you have nothing to say to each other. Um, I think that we need to think about what kind of conversations that we have, what we, we will have. They don't, they don't necessarily have to be nostalgic, um, what it was back when I was a child, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, they can be but they don't have to be. But if indeed they are nostalgic, they shouldn't necessarily dominate all of the co conversation because you're kids and other adults in the room. And teens have some reasons to be thankful too. And I think sometimes we see so Hello. Um, Hold on, Hello, for, you hold, hold on for just a moment. Um, I think uh, sometimes we give kids and teens the impression that um, we don't want to hear what they have to say. So I think that we should plan to have conversation with our adults, with our kids, and with our teens. Yes, ma'am. This is, I believe, Ms. Siobhan Cook. Yes, ma'am. Are you there? Yes, I am here. I just uh, heard you call my name. Oh, I was asking if we had anybody that had any ideas uh, where, from where you were. I know you're monitoring Facebook. Yes, I am monitoring Facebook. However, um, we have not had any ideas. Okay. One of the things that I picked around for our family, though, is maybe do uh, particular times during the day in which we play some games or something like that, like heads up or uh, one of our other online games so that we can still share together. Okay. Um, playing games like Heads Up. I think probably most of the people know what, it, what Heads Up um, happens to be. Um, thanks, uh, thanks for that. I think that's a really good idea. Playing games um, are important. And I think probably historically, if we go back maybe the last 10, 15 years, we've really been going through the motion of celebrating um, events like Thanksgiving and Christmas um, because we really don't get, um, and I know people use that phrase, I'm not in the spirit. You don't just get in the spirit. You create the spirit for celebration. Um, and in this case, we're using the term spirit as synonymous with attitude. So we create an attitude. You don't get the Christmas spirit. You create the Christmas attitude. That's what we ought to do. And playing games is a part of that. So I agree with you. Um, heads up, Siobhan, you're married, so um, ooh, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm trusting you to, you know, to stay saved on this one. <laughs> uh, you uh -oh. married. Um, um, what kind of interaction? What kind of games would you would you play with your adult husband? Um, um, that are table games. Oh, well, Lord, let me know. I look, I'm not even gonna get any more descriptors out there, but just things that you would do with your husband. <laughs> that would be fun to do, and um easy to talk about in the public forum. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, one of the things that we battle on all the time is um, Uno. Okay. Yeah, so we play Uno a lot over here. Or... He's a musician, so another thing that we get caught up in is uh, singing different songs. Like he'll say, uh, sing a random hymn and let me see if I can pick you up. Okay. You know what I mean? On the keyboard or whatever. So those are like some of the things that uh, we get involved in. Okay, cool. That's I also great. gave uh -huh. him the task of uh, making one of our desserts. What was that? We'll see if he actually followed. I actually gave him the task of making one of our desserts. So we'll see if he follows through on that. 
Okay. Yeah, that was one of the things I was going to actually ask later. What kind of things can we do surrounding using food and making food to bring family uh, family in? Um, um, but yeah, I, I I like it. I like it. I like it. So um, you guys <laughs> do Uno, and you challenge him to cook, um, so that his colleagues know how well does he cook. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, say no more. Say no more. We got it. He he tries. He tries. Well, you know, like he's more of the I might cook breakfast thing. But mm-hmm. he'll like he'll make brownies and cookies and stuff like that. <laughs> um but he doesn't do too much more than that. Don't don't give too much on him because he you know he'll be he'll be shy, he'll be blushing about that. And, and no, it'll, it'll give me more. I got am, it. It'll Pam, be more ammunition too. <laughs> Pam just said that Courtney will be making turkey wings. Oh, so Courtney's going to involve herself doing turkey wings, huh? Yes. Okay. Does she know how to do the ones that don't fly when they're done? <laughs> I heard that Courtney's turkey wings were really, really good. I'm still waiting on my share of those. Okay, yeah, I'll, so I'll be, I'll be waiting for some too. I'll be waiting for it too. Um, but I think cooking <laughs> Crystal, is a great way. Um, uh-huh. I'm sorry. No, I'm ahead. just looking at these uh, these Facebook comments. Crystal said, cook can cook. Oh my, cook can cook a dessert. <laughs> um, um, yeah, that was from Crystal, your daughter-in-law. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we'll... And the other thing that um, I was telling Daryl that we can do is prepare for Christmas. So start getting the face ready for Christmas decorations and stuff like that. Okay. Um, he likes to do it a little bit later, but, you know, we'll be together all weekend. So I figure Thanksgiving night is a good time to put up Christmas lights and stuff like that. And for, for many families, um, that's been a tradition. Uh, Thanksgiving night or the following day, they start doing all the stuff. Um, I was blessed to have um, my two baby grandkids over here last week, and they helped me put my stuff out in the yard. Um, so um, I'm already kind of ahead of the game. Um, but, yeah, I think that's a great idea if you're looking uh, for a good way to um, have fellowship and to do something productive on Thanksgiving. You don't want the day to be boring. You don't want it to be whole hum And you don't want to eat so much that all you can, I mean, eat, eat and just sit down. And all you can do is be miserable. I think if we're celebrating, we ought to have some sense of joy. That's just me. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, um, now, yeah. Um, go ahead. <laughs> Pam just said we should have a virtual family golf concert. That would be so much fun. Family what I'm concert? A virtual family gospel concert. Gospel concert. That would be so decent. Yes, I like that idea. Who should have that? She's talking about the shipment. (laughs) You're very funny. Yeah, we can get you on singing My Rock or something like that. Or um, Let It Rain by Paul Morton. (laughs) (laughs) You're funny. But I want to encourage the other viewers out there please feel free to give Pastor a phone call. Um, It's at 267-443-0092. He's looking for some of the ideas that you have for your family um, during the Thanksgiving season. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, you still there? Yeah, but I, I do like the idea of the gospel concert. We can record it and post it on social media. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 that, that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that one at all. No. All right. So think with me, um, if, if, uh, uh, think with me um, with regard to what kind of um, things that we might want to talk about with adults on like a Thanksgiving, uh, around a Thanksgiving dinner or while we're watching a football game. Um, what would we like to talk to kids about? Because um, we know that they're tired, you know, they're tired of doing the homeschooling and stuff like that there. So what kind of conversations can we bring up to, to kind of pull them in and uh, give them a sense that we're celebrating the day and not, and not just getting through it? We don't just want to get through it. 
Um, and also, again, I don't want us to forget our teams. We need to make special effort to get out there, uh, to, to get engaged with our teams. Maybe God has given this special time uh, so that we can learn to communicate with each other, and it might be a good time to do it. Well, I'm going to move on and ask you this one, since we didn't get very much of a response on that one. And thank you, Siobhan, for being our lead on that. Um, what are your favorite? Okay, Absolutely. Your, what are your favorite games, and how would you adapt them for participating in a virtual celebration? I want to know that because I want to play. I want to. I want a way to play Uno, but I don't want to do a mechanical one. I like to do it with some non-cheating members of my family who can have cameras watching them so that we can see what everybody else is doing. So how would we do that? I don't know if we have any non-cheating family members. Well, for yeah. <laughs> so it's in the DNA, huh? Yeah, we got that from the queen. Okay, you're going to be diamond out my mama now. <laughs> don't, 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 put, don't, put me, don't put me in the dozens up in there like that. <laughs> um, Crystal just said um, a family style karaoke would be fun. Family style but I don't know family. about like other types of games. Um, that's an interesting thing. Like, how do you play the board game light? I'm sure there's probably something on there, out there rather. Um, oh, Handset Twister is a game. <laughs> that would be interesting well, virtually. How, how would you do Twister virtually? Hmm. I have no idea. Hmm. That would be um, real interesting. And DJ just said that he's the one that doesn't cheat on Uno. <laughs> he doesn't? Yeah, that's what he said. Well, tell him he got one more sin to repent of. <laughs> Aunt Chrissy joined us and she said Uncle Curtis is a major cheater in Uno. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. There ain't no family loyalty out here. <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is getting brutal. Um, with Twister, though, with Twister, um, we might be able to use the whiteboard on Zoom. And instead of actually personally stretching, actually um, set it up like a Twister board. And everybody, when they have a turn, they have to kind of, um, kind of draw a line to something. Um, and if you get over a certain number of lines crossing, you know it's going to collapse. Um, that you, actually, you'll just call it. It could be four, it could be eight, whatever the case may be. Um, but you can do you can do like a twister thing, just virtually by using a whiteboard. I think that's interesting. But you know what comes to mind when you say that, What's like that? a game like um, Connect Four. I never played it, and I've never been out of interest in it. And I, I'm used to regular checkers, but I never got into Connect Four. What? Oh, my God. No. We're going to have to change that. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Connect Four. And um, Hangman is another one that could be done yeah, with the whiteboard. Yeah, Hangman board. definitely can be done. Mm-hmm. Um, as long as you don't have anybody yeah. that, that wants to sue you for perpetrating, you know, Homicide. <laughs> you know, so anyway. Ms. Venus just said she loves Connect Four. Ah. Yeah. But that actually might be a decent game, especially for the kids. Um, we probably gonna need one of our one of our um, listeners to go online and see if any of these things do have an electronic version that we can all that we can tap into. It would be nice to do a cross yeah. family though. It would be nice. Um, there is an app that I think it was Antoine that got us on this uh, this application. You can basically use and play using your text message mm -hmm. in the um, the game pop up, and there's a ton of different things that you can play on there. I just can't remember what it's called. Oh, okay. Um, I know Pam, like we played Uno with it. Pam or Crystal, if you remember the name of that app, um, put it in the in the comments. Hmm. But um, I know they were definitely playing a group game of Uno on there. Okay. Hey, listen, I'm gonna move us. What kind? Does anybody have any suggestions as to what kind of food 
foods and food prep that we can use to make the day enjoyable, to make Thanksgiving Day enjoyable? That means, you know, you may have some, some kind of food for the kids to involve, cooking, something for grandma and grandpa to cook, you know, but everybody will be kind of doing it at their own spot. Like Crystal might want to, you know, might want to show me how she came up with that awesome, that awesome concept of a meatloaf that she uh, first introduced us to. I have no idea how she would do that. That is a really good question. Um, on the application, I was just talking about Pam said that um, that app is only for Apple phones, it's so only for, for iPhones. Uh, well, y you all are welcome to come to the dark side. <laughs> yes, anybody who does not have an iPhone, you can come over to Apple land. <coughs> um, any other ideas about Crystal food? said the meatloaf is called fancy meatloaf. It's called who? Fancy meatloaf. Fan it's called fancy meatloaf. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that because when you cut it, it watches you? <laughs> oh, man. I know, I know because when you cut it, there's a gift inside. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Any other kind of food preparation um, that we that we might be able to encourage families to do that might be enjoyable? Does any does anybody but me still eat Jello? No, I actually like Jello. Really, um, I was told that Jello yeah. and fruit are is like old people's food. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think so. Unless people are uh, considering me old school, I don't think I'm quite old school. Maybe in some ways I am, but you remember the old Jello mold? Yeah, with the fruit in it, and yep. it had kind of like that bunt cake yep. pattern to it. <laughs> yep, yep, I do, I do. Huh. What are the other things, too, that I thought we might want to do um, on the holiday um, is if you've got people who are with you, um, why not take a walk around the block or run or jog or something like that uh, in the community to, make the, to help make the day enjoyable? Um, if you don't want to do that, what about getting some chalk and doing an old hopscotch or ball scotch if there's no ice and snow on the ground? Yeah, that's a really good idea. I love the idea of hopscotch. And um, you remember Chinese jump rope? I do. I could never do it, but I remember it. Yeah, that's a, um, a good thing to do outside, too. That'll get your heart rate up a little bit. But if you are over 35, <laughs> um, leave it to the younger folks. I mean, I'm over 35, and I could probably still do it. I'm sure it would be fine. Okay, I do want to hear hear from some of the some of the folks um, on this on this one. Um, now, there are some folks who do the same thing on Christmas by way of dinner that they do on Thanksgiving. What kind of variations have you learned through the years to implement so that your Christmas and your Thanksgiving dinners are pretty much unique to themselves. Anybody have any anything to share? Yeah, it's going to take a second for that to come through in the comments. Okay. Um, one of the outdoor activities Miss Venus just brought up was double dutch. Ooh. That's actually a good thing ask, to do outside. Ask her if she can do it. Miss Venus, can you double dutch? <laughs> Um, Miss Venus also said that she doesn't buy the same food. Okay. Um, Miss Monte said that they incorporate seafood. Great. That's actually real good. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I remember, you know, a couple of times we incorporated Italian food. Yep. Um, 
Mm-hmm. So Miss Venus said, yes, she can be double dutch. Okay, tell her, tell her she got to do us all a favor. Have Joe and Anthony or Anthony and Emmanuel hold the ropes for her and, and videotape herself double dutch, and we want to see it. We want proof. <laughs> you heard it from your pastor, Miss Venus. <laughs> we need video proof. <laughs> Post it to your page. <laughs> um, Crystal said that her family incorporates large Christmas breakfast. Large Christmas yeah, breakfast? Yeah, I've been to her, um, one, at least one of her Christmas brunches. I mean, they have everything over there. Did you say brunch? That's a really good tradition. Yeah. Well, she said breakfast. I thought it kind of brunch because when I went over there, it was a little later in the day. Okay. Um, and then Miss Vina said this year she's incorporating uh, salmon. Uh, um, I've already decided this year what I'm going to do, and I've had it a couple of times already this year. I am going to do crab legs uh, on Thanksgiving. You're doing crab legs on yeah, Thanksgiving? Yeah, I'm the only one here. I got, you know, I can do it. Bruh. I'm going to have to drive by, leave some um, at the door. <laughs> I'll pick it up. Now I'll come down your way. I'll do I'll do a drive by legging. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. A drive by crab legging. How's that? Yes, I'm with it. <laughs> um, Miss Venus said she needs better turners for her double dutch thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. She she finding a fault in the system already. <laughs> Tell her it would be a lot of fun if she could get Joe to double dutch with her. Oh my God! Have, An- have, really have Anthony and Emmanuel turning the ropes. <laughs> I would love to see that. Wouldn't that be special? Yes. Um, Pam commented, you're having crab legs without us. Uh, and Crystal said, what did they it use? does sound like a drive-by. <laughs> um, hey, listen, we may, be, and, we may be doing a drive-by so BJ can throw us a slice of ham out the, out, the, out, out the yard because he's supposed to be doing something special with the ham. Yes, and if Crystal is making her pound cake. <laughs> oh, that, that is not that. right. <laughs> That I would love right. to have some of that too. Um, yes. yes. Send, is she sending the recipe um, to anybody? I don't know if she's going to send the recipe. How about sending to anybody. the recipe? We'll see what she says in the comments. I'll give it a shot at some point. Um, I won't tell you when, so I don't have to tell you how it turned out, but um, send the recipe. Sounds like a plan to me. Um. Miss Venus said that they're doing crab legs too. So she's having a good Thanksgiving dinner. Salmon and crab legs? Yeah, ask her if she might de- have to do a drop by her. I want to know, too. Sister Venus, are you delivering? I won't even have to do mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Miss Monte said she has Dungeness crab, mm. large snow crab, and king crab for the holidays, oh, too. Oh, that hurts. Mm. <laughs> I love king crabs. I, well, I love all of them. King yes. crabs, yeah, they're, they are my favorite. Ooh. Um, okay, here's Joe what I Daniel like everybody. Commented. Would, would you guys consider, would everybody consider on Thanksgiving Day um, taking a snapshot? Can we, can we do something where we can get all the pictures in one place, Siobhan? And everybody take a of snapshot of, of their dinner table, huh? Yeah, if they um, if they text or email mm-hmm. the pictures, we can do a collage on the Prince of Peace page. Yeah, that would be great. I'd love that. And if you want yeah, to, you absolutely. can include your recipe for your favorite meal. It wouldn't bother me none if you did that. Yeah, we can all try it out. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Um, Joe Daniels did, did comment on your request for him to try double dutch. <laughs> he said he'd crack his ankle. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I think, I think the brother got it together a little bit better than that. Um, 
Well, listen, um, let's, let's, let's try to work on getting that uh, collage together for Thanksgiving. If you want to, you can even send stuff as you're preparing. Um, uh, it could be a small snapshot of something, you know, what the kitchen looks like when you're doing what you do, um, where the kids are, if the kids are involved, um, or kids or grandkids, um, you know, pictures of them doing what they do, whether they're making cookies, cakes, or helping with the rolls or with the bar or, or with the stuff out on the um, grill in BJ's case, because it don't matter for him all year round, he grills. Um, mm -hmm. But um, whatever we do, um, let's try to incorporate some meaningful conversation. I don't mean serious, but meaningful in the sense that we learn how to enjoy each other's presence, um, really um, deliberately learn how to laugh and enjoy ourselves around these holidays and be thankful for what it is that God has done with us. I said to Pam today earlier, you know, because we were talking about how, how much of a bummer it is for us not to be able to get together as we want to. And I said to her, listen, um, I won't tell you her age, but I'm 60 some years old. And this is the first time in all these years, 60 plus years, that there has ever been a mandate for me not to celebrate anything. Birthdays, um, Easter, 4th of July, Memorial, Memorial Day, 4th of July, um, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, never in over 60 years have I ever been asked not to do something and asked to do it for a reason like we have today, for the public good, for public health sake. I can't complain, and I don't know how you feel about it, but I cannot complain if one time out of 60 plus years I've been asked to sacrifice my holidays, even if there are 6 or 12 or 14 of them, there have been 60 some years in my life where I could celebrate all of them with as much gusto as I want. And, um, and not to mention that every day is a day of Thanksgiving. And, um, and I think that we should be grateful um, for, um, for whatever celebration we can do. So I want to ask you, work on, work on not complaining about this situation. Let's be thankful for all of the years that we have had unimpeded. And we've been able to do what we wanted on any holiday we want, go where we want it, and we have not have to worry about it. This is the first time in our lifetime that we've ever been asked to do this. And once I, listen, if I was 10 years old, I'd be saying once out of 10 years, that ain't a bad ratio. You know, so let's find a way to rejoice and be thankful to God for what God has done, given um, the blessings that we have had. And those of us uh, who are here, we are, you know, we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. We've been saved by his blood. Uh, be thankful for that. Revisit that again and understand what it means. And, 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 and when Jesus talks about I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly, let's take that to heart. Let's examine that and see how we can allow that to be true right here on this Thanksgiving holiday, even if we do have to celebrate it in isolation. Um, I want to say thank you to those of you who turned, tuned in tonight and gave your ideas. Uh, I'm going to ask if there are any other comments that I should listen to before we sign off. But you've been great. I think we've, get, we've made some headway. we got a little list of things that we can do on a number of fronts. And um, we'll take a picture collage if we can, if you can send those pictures into Siobhan, and we'll post them on our website so we can see what the food day look like. And I know you're going to get your faces in there somewhere too. So, you know, I ain't even worried about that. Go ahead and do that. Um, any other uh, comments from anybody, or are there any questions about anything? Oh, don't forget, on Thanksgiving Day, uh, I think we scheduled for 12 o'clock. Uh, Reverend Cook and I will be holding a okay. service. We'll, we'll be there at Prince of Peace, and um, he'll do a little something. I'll do a little something to try to give you some encouragement on the Thanksgiving holiday um, to remind us that, you know, hey, listen, the Lord is good. He's still a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm done. If you don't have anything else to say, I want to bid you a good night. Do we have anybody else, Shug, that's going to say anything? I'm Siobhan. Yes, there were a couple of things that popped up Let's and listen. a question that we need to answer. Okay. Um, Miss Venus brought up flag football, which is yeah. fun. Yes. That would be fun. Um, so doing that with your family. Um, she also brought up, you know, playing basketball and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Do it with, I your, do it with your mask on. When, I want to encourage you, do it with your mask on. 
would do it. I think that would be fun. Mm-hmm. I told her maybe when we get out of this, we should have a church game of flag football. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking about now you're talking about cracked ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal also said, um, I am so grateful and thankful. Things may be different, but they ain't all bad. That Amen. is so true. Amen. Amen. Um, so true. And then there's a question about how to send a picture. You can send that via text or email. Um, I won't say my cell phone number over the uh, lines, but um, if you don't have my cell number, you can email to sscook thousand at gmail.com and I'll put that in the comments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and could could they not um well they can't attach it to the Facebook page. Um I'm sorry, say that one more time. They they could send it to the church email too if they forget. Yes, I'll put that in there as well. Yeah. So listen, let's be as creative and let's on purpose have fun. Let's not just hope that we're going to have a good day or just bore our way through. Let's on purpose have a good time. God's been good to us. We want to make a celebration. Um, we're going to celebrate the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. Um, so let's be thankful. Let's be grateful. I hope to talk to you again real soon. Well, at least uh, perhaps on Sunday, uh, we'll get a chance to, um, uh, to share with you um, as you've been so faithful tuning in. Uh, Sunday and then Thursday again. But God bless you. You all have a wonderful night tonight. Siobhan, thanks Wait. for tuning uh, Yep, go ahead. Don't forget um, A Reason for Hope tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Yes, yes, yes. Right here, live on Facebook. A Reason for Hope tomorrow at 8 o'clock, right on the church's Facebook page, hosted by Minister Anthony Royster. Amen. Amen. God bless. Come we on. love you all too. God bless. Um, and Sid did say she wants to do a family Zoom. So we'll be on Zoom with all of our babies on Thanksgiving. All right. Works for me. That certainly works for me. Did we get everybody everything? I think I'm scrolling through. I think we got everything. Um, there's a 30 second delay. So there's always the risk of missing somebody, but we'll be sure to catch up with you at another time. Stay well, connected. I, I got a minute. I'm not in a hurry to get off, so uh, if we can catch them, that'll be all right with me. It looks like we're clear. Okay. Um, Miss right. Dina says, big hug to everyone. God bless you. Big Amen. hug back to you. Amen. Yes, and from me too. God bless. Have a good night. Good night.